My father and his brother worked at Welpdale Maxwell and Cod, and that was where I served my apprenticeship. Uh, when that went into the demise in 2003, we set up our own family business, and I've really followed in my dad's footsteps, basically because I loved what he was doing. I loved the working with my hands and producing something from nothing back to sort of beautiful. The main sort of crux of the business is full rebuild on pianos. So something will come in 100 years old and go out looking basically better and sounding better than new. Um, but we can offer just casework, internal work, so soundboard, uh, restring, or we can do action work. So it's just whether you need a new set of hammers or your keys recovered. Um, we cover every aspect really. Uh, from when my dad started like 60 years ago, traditionally the way we rebuild is exactly the same. We follow the same methods, we regulate the same methods, and it pretty much is still the traditional same old tools. There are certain technology with saws and routers where we can do things quicker and safer, um, but the actual kind of crux of what we do is exactly the same. When a piano comes in on, a, on an average job, it comes in and gets dismantled. Then it will go through to the casework department. If it's uh, having a veneer finish, it'll be completely sanded, completely polished again and sprayed to a satin finish. Then it goes through to the soundboard department. It has a new soundboard bespoke made for it here and a new rest plank. Then the frame's regilded and it's uh, restrung. Then it comes down the line to the action work where we fit the new hammers. I've worked on all the keys. Everything's completely rebuilt. New felts, new leathers. You know, we don't leave anything to chance. And then the piano then gets reassembled, so it's then a plain, plain piece again. And uh, that roughly takes between three and four months. There is. And I think I've found that there is a renaissance in pianos now. It's coming back. People are wanting a piano in their house. They're, they're, it's almost like people stop wanting to read from Kindles and they want to read from books. And people actually want to stop playing electronic pianos and want to get back to a real kind of traditional piano. Um, and as far as uh, apprenticeships, uh, we are trying to find some apprentices, but it is hard to find people who really want to work with their hands and just want to dedicate themselves to an apprenticeship where the kind of the schemes have been lost over the years. Trying to bring it back, it's been quite a difficult thing, but um, hopefully we'll, we'll find some good, good people to come through soon because we want to pass on the, the talents. If you don't pass on the knowledge down the line, one day it will die out. And it is a trade that you would say is dying out. Over the last 10 years, I could tell you countless amount of shops and workshops that have shut down. Um, but I think the trade needs to stick together as a whole. The tuners all need to stick together. Companies need to stick together. And we need to make it the number one place in Europe to have your piano done again, not be sending your piano abroad. We need to keep the, the piano industry alive in the UK.